I want to start off the forecast from what we saw last night. It's really the same conditions of what we're going to see today. Look at the sunset pictures that were sent in last night. The sky really looked like it was on fire. We had a little bit of moisture in there giving us those kind of pink and red colors, but we had so many pictures. I just want to show a few of you a couple of them. Also some fall street clouds. We call them hole punch clouds. It's some atmospheric conditions I'm not going to get into, but last night absolutely beautiful to end the start of our work week and this morning we're really going to start off the same way. Mostly sunny skies expected all the way from the deep south, the mid Atlantic, the Great Plains, even right here into the Midwest and Northeast. Now today we are going to see things change. We were talking about whether to talk about it warm or mild. We decided to go with warm conditions for today. We had a warm front, as you can see in the red line, push just north of us, bringing the warmer air back into the valley. We're going to notice that winds are going to be out of the south for today, and then it's going to shift with a cold front coming through. That blue line or that leading edge of a cooler air mass will push into the valley, dropping temperatures once again into the 30s. But for today, enjoy the warmer temperatures, highs near 60 degrees with the sunny skies. The clear conditions will continue for today and tonight, which is why we could see the space station pass through the area just around 625 to 627. So it's only going to last for two minutes, but it appears just to the southwest over the horizon, and then it's going to go straight over your head and disappear into the northeast. So make sure you get outside tonight and enjoy that because warmer temperatures, you're not going to need a jacket for it. Currently, we're still sitting into the upper 30s, low 40s. So you might need that light jacket, especially starting off the day today, but we are going to see those warmer temperatures push into the valley by this afternoon. Playing that out on Future Tracker, notice upper 50s. I do think by the time we hit the evening hours, we could even see low 60s in most areas across the valley. The first cold front indicated by that cloudy conditions and the chance for an isolated spot of drizzle. Not expecting any of us to really see that drizzle, but if you do, it's just going to be a quick passing shower. And then we're going to see dry conditions once again for the end of Wednesday. But a second cold front is going to then push through the valley, bringing us the chance for yet more rain. But for today, dry conditions, 60 degrees as far as our high. And then tonight, cooling off 40 degrees, 20% chance of only an isolated shower, mostly clear skies, leading to mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. Highs into the upper 40s. And then we talked about that second cold front pushing through. Notice how on the day on Thursday, we are going to start off cooler and dry, but by the time we get into the afternoon hours, that's when we're expecting the showers to start pushing into the valley. It's going to be those on or off showers to be expected throughout the afternoon, even the evening hours. And then as we head into the early part of Friday, we are expecting those dry condition conditions to continue. So morning showers for Friday, evening showers on Thursday, dry conditions, partly sunny skies for Saturday, even into Sunday with mostly sunny skies, but above average temperatures, especially heading into the month of December, which starts actually meteorological winter on Friday, and we are expecting a warmer start to that, but don't expect those warmer conditions to last too much longer beyond your seven day forecast.